Hi, I'm Mr. Carter, and we're going to talk to you around, about the expectations around work at Thetford Academy, specifically about organisation and equipment uh, in lessons, but also about our expectations around homework, because I know that's something that pupils and parents have a particular anxiety about very often. One of the key big steps up when you join a high school is the difference between having one or a couple of teachers all through the week and having a range of different teachers for different subjects. That requires organisation. So the first tip that I recommend is when you've got your timetable, which you will get in September, is to make sure it's kept in a safe place and that you try and learn it. The best thing to do is to have a planner with your timetable either stuck in or written in so you know what subjects you've got on what days of the week. Because the things that quite often worry pupils is not remembering the right piece of equipment or the right book on the right day. So for example, forgetting your PE kit. So knowing your timetable, keeping it in a safe place, so keeping it in a, a blazer pocket or in a planner so you always know where it is and you can check where you've got to go is really important. The second tip that's really, really important for New Year 7s joining a high school is to be well equipped and well organised and make sure you've got everything you need ready for school. So the essential pieces of equipment at Thetford Academy are a black pen, a pencil and a ruler. You will also be given a planner that you write your homework in and, and any other notes that you need to make sure that you're taking with you at all times. We do give out demerits if pupils don't remember their equipment, so it's your responsibility. You need to make sure you're fully equipped. There are other items that you might want to bring in, like a compass or a, uh, a calculator. They're optional pieces of equipment that the school will often lend, but the, if you've got your own equipment, you'll know that you're confident and, and well equipped for school. Okay. Now, um, one element of secondary schooling that children and their parents often find quite challenging when they join is around homework. There's often a lot more homework issued uh, when you join a high school than you would have been used to in primary school. So again, it's all about organisation. The expectation is that there should be, that each subject will be setting around about half an hour a week. And there are over 10 subjects a week. So it's about firstly being organised and making sure that you don't leave it to the last minute and don't all do it the night before it's due in. That if you don't understand a piece of homework or you've lost something or you're not quite sure what to do, that you contact the teacher in advance or you go and see them or you send them an email or you ask your parents to ring in and ask for help before the homework is due in. Okay, our staff are always available to help in those sorts of situations. To help that organisation, we use a programme, a website called Show My Homework. We set all our homework via Show My Homework. It's an online uh, app and website that all children and their parents can access where you can see all the homework that's been set, any materials or videos or sheets that are required to help with that homework and when it's due in and, and to whom. So we're really good at communicating what homework's been set, when it's due in. The key thing I would recommend is if children or their parents have got any problems around homework, don't leave it to the last minute, don't just not do it and, and because we do give out uh, detentions for non-completion of homework. If you've got a doubt about a piece of homework, ask for help before the deadline. Um, we, d we don't set pieces of homework that are due in the next day. There's often around about a week for pieces of homework to be completed. Sometimes they can be, uh, um, they can be submitted online too. So we do lots of things to make that homework process easier, but our expectations are, are high. One of the main ways we have improved progress at this school is by making sure our young people are completing lots of work at home. If for whatever reason it's difficult for your child to complete homework at home, we run uh, homework clubs after school so I'm currently speaking to you from the library and pupils can stay after school in the library to have access to our books and to computers but we also have staff who are, uh, are paid to stay after school and run homework clubs to support individual pupils who might be having problems in completing that homework at home so the key thing I would say is don't uh, worry about homework there's lots of support available but it's about being organized and um, being prepared to ask for help if needed <laughs>